Honest, Jay Nowak. Oh yeah. A pleasure to meet y'all at last, and welcome back to Honest J. Nowak. And so this is pretty much another time where another new subject comes into play, and more importantly, something where I do have plenty to say about it. So what I got here to talk about is television franchise. Simply put, television franchises are just another pretty big thing out there that we've had in American culture. Though I will say a few things really quickly, there have been a lot that we've grown up with, some of which were not at all as popular as we suspected, even though we have grown up with them almost our whole lives. They were somewhat obscured, and the only way to pretty much find them back then, especially, was to pretty much search through the guide for hours every day. Of course, you would be able to find an episode eventually, but of course, there's only so many episodes to some of these television franchises or even films that you could find on the guide or even on the list of some sorts that you have. Because back then, I've had cable television, and it wasn't that good. It had only so many channels on there, and of course, this was pretty disappointing for me. But nowadays... I pretty much got, myself, Roku Television, and it's incredible. I'm able to have a lot of different apps on it, many different platforms to synchronize with, and this way I can pretty much keep track of so many different films that I haven't really watched yet, while at the same time I'm able to find a lot of other films and shows and the like that I could pretty much use to my advantage. But going back to franchises though, especially television ones, there have been at least 30 of them that I've grown up with, many of which were older. And if there's a lot of them that I can, well, name at the top of my head, then well, in no particular order, a lot of shows that I've pretty much seen throughout my life that I've really enjoyed over the years included The Incredible Hulk, 1977 to 1982 version, Knight Rider, Dukes of Hazard, Accelerators, Transformers of at least five different types. Prime, Robots in Disguise, Cyberverse, Power of the Dark, Spark, and the original G1 version, of course. Beast Wars also counts, so that's six. That's already ten that right there that I've named. And there, of course, there are dozens of others that I could name off as well, but still. I probably wouldn't want to spend too much time talking about that in particular, so I guess we could probably just leave it at that. Television franchises, depending on how long they've run or how popular they've gotten, for the most part, there have been a lot of good things about some of these franchises that I've seen, even though they pretty much had very low attendance numbers or even poor ratings. And eventually, episodes end up getting cut down from them, or of course, they end up getting completely, well, canceled. And of course, I could just talk a lot about how we're going to get a lot of defunct television series right now because they've been cancelled amidst the pandemic that we're currently going through. But I pretty much insist that... <sighs> probably just leave it out of it. So that's pretty much all that I got here to talk about based on defunct series of all sorts. Not just the ones that were old, but even the ones that are pretty much new, or were at least going to be new until they got pulled but if you want to see more go down to my channel make sure that you like subscribe comment follow me on social media and stay on the hollywood side